in this week's video, I do my first real CNC project, and I make a throat plate for my bandsaw. I actually make it out of some aluminum that my friend June sent me. So stick around, check it out, and let me know what you think in the comments. I hooked up with Harvey Tools for this project. We started talking on Instagram, and they ended up sending me these three tools to try out. As you can see, I mangled the 16th inch end mill. Sorry, Harvey. I started off by putting calipers to the bandsaw throat. Yes, I use millimeters because no, I don't want to deal with thou. The measurement I got was 63.65 millimeters, which is most likely the same for all of the 14 inch Chinese bandsaws. Hit me up in the comments if you want the file. Even though this is the easiest project in the world to design and could have been done right in VCarve, I drew it in Illustrator because I'm comfortable with it. I won't go into the nuts and bolts of CNC in this video as it's not really a tutorial, but I will say that aluminum needs more steps and a slower feed rate than wood. Ask me how I know. One quick thing to mention is that it's important to add these tabs to your work so it doesn't go flying away once the last cut is made. That's pretty much the whole design of the cut paths. Now, on to the fun stuff. Here the CNC is cutting in real time. In a second, I speed it up to about 800%, uh, you know, for the sake of entertainment. I did a little bit of cleanup using my disc and belt sanders, but it was really minor. I also thought this was a really great way to test out the new <laughs> aluminum throat plate. Maybe a little bit ironic. Thanks for watching. Big thanks to Harvey Tool, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks, guys.